Yo, guys, what's up? It's uh, been a little while. I haven't posted a video for a few weeks now because I've been streaming every single day. So quick plug for the Twitch channel. If you guys are not following on there, it's literally, it's the most fun. I've been doing it because it's more fun. I get to interact with you guys more regularly. And so if you're not following the Twitch channel, I'm going to put a link in the description. It's always there, but I'm specifically telling you, go follow on Twitch if you want to have a good time. There's so many people, we're hanging out, we're having a great, literally a great time. We're getting to interact with the other content creators in the community. We're getting to interact with people who have never even seen my videos before, and it's super fun. So I hope that you guys will make it over there. You're really missing out if you don't. Next bit of news, we're doing a video today because we just haven't done one in a while and I wanted to do one. I just haven't put one out and I just, I don't know, for me there hasn't been a lot of stuff going on in the game that I've been interested in. Lately it's been a bit of a drought for me um, just because, I don't know, just everything that's kind of been going on, I've been frustrated, I haven't wanted to make negative videos and so I've just been like, ah, whatever, I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna hang out. So that said guys, uh, today we're gonna make a video and this is a video that I think, uh, Later game players are gonna be like, oh, I already knew this. But like earlier game players, uh, they can look at this and be like, hey, this is stuff that I can be working on. So what we're gonna do is, uh, this is going to be the uh, best teams for Ultima 7. And so that way, even if you guys aren't doing it yet, you can look at it and be like, okay, uh, these teams are good. I can be building them. I can have them ready to go when I do get to Ultima 7 because Unlike most other things that Fox Nights has put out recently, Ultima 7 actually has pretty good rewards, so you want to be able to do it and get as far as you can. And for those of you guys out there who thought I was never going to put out another YouTube video, well, Pog you, we're here, we're doing a video, so take that. Ready? Go! Right, so the first team, of course, you're going to be like, oh, we already knew that this was going to be a good team for this raid, but I have to put them on here because what I found is that this is the best team for the raid, is Guardians with Minerva. So well, it's kind of like Guardians, Minerva, Vision, Tech, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, some people call it BKT, which I didn't know what that meant for a really long time. I had to spend like seven hours on Reddit to figure out what that meant. I'm not going to tell you. Um, unless you comment down below, I'll tell you what BKT means, but it might not mean what you think. Yeah, so this team, I don't know, I've had the best luck with this team. I've been able to clear the most nodes with this team. And I mean, when I say the most nodes, I mean, I've been able to clear three nodes in a row with this team. Um, you pretty much, like, you have to use your whole roster, at least it seems like right now. So just, I don't know, the way that this team works, it just, it seems that with the, the defense up is really helpful. First wave's coming in and you're just like, ah, I'm getting blasted, but you have defense up. So it's great. It's perfect. Uh, you can heal, you can blast people, you blow them away, uh, the energy and whatnot. And it's, it's good. It's a good team. Uh, this is one's kind of a given, and I think that we all know it, but this is definitely a team to be working on. You should be working on this team anyways, but this was the best team that I found for Ultima 7. By far, for me, I'm pretty sure no one's going to argue that. So the next team that I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised with being really good is the Defenders. So we all know that Defenders is the go-to, like, starter new player team, right? So everybody should have Defenders already. And so it might be nice, you can see this video and you can say like, hey, I already have that team, so that allows me to have a decent team going into Ultima 7 before we're even there yet. Or maybe you just haven't even tried them in Ultima 7. They performed surprisingly well. I just threw them in after I was frustrated and my other teams have gotten knocked out and I was just like, ah, well, whatever. Like they're strong, they have synergy. Let's put them in, let's do it, whatever. And they actually did pretty good. I took out two or three nodes with them as well. and. Uh, surprisingly, but I don't know, like, they're good. I mean, we know that. I mean, they're not as good as they used to be at all, especially in Blitz, they've really fallen out of favor. But yeah, I mean, they're good in this raid, and uh, that's great. It's the synergy, it's good. Now, Great Mind's pretty strong. Um, I have only orange abilities on Iron Fist's passive ability. Uh, everything else, no orange abilities or anything. Everybody's pretty chill. Uh, not even Punisher's passive. I thought about doing it for this raid, but I haven't decided yet. I'm getting Ultron soon, so... Anyways, I think that it's a, it's a good team. Uh, better than expected, better than expected. So I definitely, I put them at the second best team for the raid. So you might be surprised by that and just be like, oh, wow, I can't believe this. So I don't know, just it's a good one. If you got them, you're good. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily say put resources in them like over the, the Guardians team. I would not, I would do the Guardians team first and then this team, but good team, very good team, surprisingly. Again, I don't know if this is necessarily the third best team. This list really isn't in any particular order uh, after the first two, in my opinion, but I was surprised, I was pleasantly surprised by this team. They came in here, they're not very strong, as you can see, they're not level 70, and the only orange abilities I have are on Ronin's passive, and I don't know, whatever. So I thought they did well. I thought that they really swung up 
from where they're at. I couldn't imagine having a stronger one. Say you had like a, you know, my Guardians team is 250,000 power. If you had a 250,000 power Kree team, they'd probably knock it out of the park. Um, that's kind of my thought. These guys, they really did it for me. I was surprised they beat uh, about one and a half nodes on their own. And it was just like, oh, okay. Like I didn't expect you to even beat half a node and you you did pretty well. So they're pretty good. You can swap in uh, Captain Marvel in there. You can swap out like Noble or Reaper. I personally really like Reaper. Um, but yeah, so I think that uh, they're good. They can, they fit really well. Surprisingly, I did not expect that from them at all. Just kind of like Defenders, I didn't expect it. Um, but yeah, they fit in really well. They seem to do really well. And uh, again, I'm not saying run and power these up over like other meta teams, but if you have them, like this is what I have from the Nick Fury event. I don't think I've put anything into them since the Nick Fury event and they're great. So I would definitely recommend if you have them, just see what happens, you know what I mean? All what's it gonna cost, 10 energy and you might beat a node, so that's the point. Now, next team, and this is possible that this is just because I have good red stars, or at least decent red stars on this team, um, but this military team, I really like this team. Uh, you know, obviously power armor is super good, so it kind of eliminates War Machine and Iron Man uh, from this team anymore. And a lot of times Captain Marvel won't be put up with this team, but if you have these characters and you're just like, ah, okay, like, let's let's use them. Let's, what could happen? Then just toss them in there. I thought they did pretty good. I cleared a node with them, um, which was surprising. This was before I even had the five red stars on Captain America and Iron Man. Uh, I have not tested since then. Uh, so they were worse and we still cleared a node. Uh, it's just a team, if you happen to have them, uh, give them a try, give them a try. Uh, same kind of goes with power armor, uh, you know, kind of like after they use all their abilities, they can't really do much. I as well cleared a node with power armor. I've done that multiple times. My power arm te armor team is very weak, like 190,000. So definitely uh, those are two teams. You can definitely do the power armor is kind of a bonus. So this is actually a two for one, what it is. And um, it's not another good team to use. It's another team that I found to be terrible. So uh, Brotherhood, you would have thought that like, hey, you toss them in there, they can beat the crap out of one node and like that's all they got. Uh, I brotherhood was not good in this raid i don't know if it was like a bunch of waves coming in or what they did not do good uh, like maybe to like finish off like something light but whoo i did not do well with brotherhood so i do not recommend them for this raid at all combs beard stamp of disapproval uh on the brotherhood for this raid and uh the other team surprisingly uh, who I didn't think was good. Let's find out who it is. It's our uh, our boys in blue, the shield. Shield was bad. I don't know what was up with this raid. They just get their butts kicked. I don't know if it's like countering teams against them. Like obviously shield is a great team, but I don't, in this raid, I had terrible luck with them. Every time I ran it, terrible luck, terrible luck. So I would not, I mean, obviously you're gonna try shield cause you have to, cause they're just a meta team. Everybody's invested in them if you have them, but they just really didn't live up uh, as they have in previous raids for me. So. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb and I was playing them wrong, but you know, I played long enough to know how to not, and I have like gazillions of orange ability mats put into them. They're very good, obviously, we know that, but in this raid, they just really didn't live up to my expectations. So, I mean, they're good, uh, don't get me wrong. You could probably get like maybe a node or maybe two if you're lucky, but compared to the other teams where I was like very surprised, they just didn't live up. I was disappointed in them. I thought I'd be able to put them in and just play it and get on through, and I, I couldn't. So it, it seemed like there was a lot of counter teams against them that you just couldn't really get through. And the moment we've all been waiting for, how do you think that the Wakanda was? All right, you're probably right. They were awful. Um, they just, here's the problem. You're fighting a bunch of teams that give a ton of debuffs, right? Well, you can't cleanse them. The only way you can cleanse them is with Shuri's ultimate. And if they, you get a heal block on somebody, it wastes it. And it's just, it doesn't really work. Um, so you can't cleanse stuff, and then it's like, oh, like, okay, so, like, there's some enemies. Like, Okoye, I don't know if they, like, stealth buffed her. I've noticed that she seems to, uh, dispel a lot more than normal on her basic, at least in my testings, but she's still just kind of, like, meh. Like, it's inconsistent, and, like, you need it to be consistent. You need to be like, all right, I'm gonna use this ability. It's gonna get rid of this because I've got to get around this tank, and I've got to kill whoever, and because otherwise they're gonna kill me, and it just doesn't work. So, you know, whatever. This team, I've complained about this team till I'm blue in the face. They just were overhyped and bad. So they're not good. Everybody keeps saying, oh, if you have them at seven star with like four red stars and uh, like all the orange ability mats on them, then they're amazing at like 350,000 power. And I'm just like, okay, 
like any team's going to be amazing at 350,000 power because everything's balanced for like 250. So yeah, uh, I would not, I would do nothing with this team. Literally, absolutely nothing with this team unless you have like a seven red star on them or something. Like I have a, uh, multiple people on my discord who have a uh, seven red star Koye. Well, I mean, if you got her like decent gold stars, then yeah, I would uh, probably use that team then because it probably will be good then because you got you know, if you have like stuff like that, but like that's not obtainable by the masses. So unless you have something weird, I I don't recommend them. Uh, they were very poor in my testing and like my team's pretty decent. I have a thousand orange mats in them. Um, now granted they're a little low on power, but it's like they should at least show signs of being good. Like power armor is around the same power as them. And my power armor blew through a node. And so it's like, you know, so that's kind of my thought on that. It's just like, ah, this is not good. So I wouldn't waste time with Wakanda. Maybe they're going to buff them. I've I've heard rumors uh, that they're going to buff them. And this has this is not any information from Fox Next or anything like that. Like, I'm not leaking anything. But yeah, I heard a rumor. I don't even remember what it was. It was like somebody in my Twitch chat is that they were saying they're going to buff them soon. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I don't really know what's going to happen. I heard it could be soon. So whatever that means, whatever it could be, I don't know. I feel like they'd have to like retweak everything because they need more dispel, more cleansing, more everything. So we'll see what happens. But right now, just no good for Ultima 7. So guys, uh, pretty much, I mean, that's that's it. That's what my thoughts are. I mean, pretty much just ranked every meta team. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to call this video the best teams for Ultima 7 or all meta teams ranked for Ultima 7. I don't know. Pretty much, guys, like I said earlier, definitely get on Twitch. It's awesome. We're having a blast. Um, but otherwise, if you just want to hang out on YouTube, I stream on YouTube as well. It's just not as fun. You don't get the emotes or any of the other fun opportunities to do stuff that way. So that said, guys, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I want to uh, get to 3,000 subs soon. Uh, we're pretty close. Uh, we kind of took a halt when I stopped putting out videos every other day. Um, but yeah, make sure to... Uh, Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video if you liked it, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if, uh, I don't know, maybe you found another team that I missed somehow. I'm not sure how I would have missed it, but if I did somehow, leave a comment with that, and uh, yeah, share it with a friend, share it with your alliance, share it with anybody. See you guys next time. Goodbye.